Today, <laughs> I'm gonna edit it out. He's showing me his butt. Uh you caught a fish. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Sarah. And um, so today we're doing a video that I've been asked for quite a few times and that is how to properly do a bleach bath. So first thing what you're gonna do is, um, because Pico is so small, we only fill the bathtub halfway up. Um, he's really particular on the temperature of the water because it burns his skin. So if you look at the National Eczema website, or talk to your doctor, they'll tell you a half a cup for a full bath and a fourth a cup for a half a bath. This is just regular household bleach and then a regular uh, measuring cup. So mm -hmm. since we're only doing a half a bathtub, we're just gonna put a half a cup of bleach in there. It doesn't it doesn't affect anything. It's gonna kinda smell like chlorine, but other than that, it really doesn't do anything. Up. Um, I'm gonna just you for those of you that are new to the eczema community um, and you guys need resources. This isn't sponsored, but go to the National Eczema website. They have a lot of information and a lot of um, things that you can do for new parents dealing with eczema. Okay, so with um, bleach baths, you want to make sure that they're in the bathtub for at least 10 minutes. We always aim for 15, but. Um, it just kind of depends on the kid. Voice. So with eczema patients, um, especially with kids like Keikoa that have really bad skin, we make sure we get scent free. This is um, fragrance free, dye free soap. Um, this is the cheap one. This is like the cheapest one they have at Walmart. You can get other brands of scent free soap. We figure this stuff works. It doesn't irritate his skin. So this is what we use. Okay, so now that he's out of the bath, what you do is you make sure you pat dry. So you don't want to rub it off, um, but you want to make sure you pat dry. Hold this on there, okay? So now what we like to do, um, if you have a medicated ointment, you would put it on, um, but we're just going to use regular Aquaphor. And this is the time that you make sure that you lather him up all the way. So. We put it on anywhere that he is, um, that he has a severe breakout. So right now it's the between, it's his arms up here. His skin looks really good right now. And then on his stomach. And this is just to kind of hold everything in. Um, bleach baths are good, like if he, he, he has reoccurring infections, so doing the bleach baths really help um, with that. So what we're doing is we're just kind of lathering them up a little bit. If you put medicated cream on, you would put the medicated cream on first and then you would put the aquaphor or Vaseline or whatever, like a, whichever one you use as like a moisturizer, maybe a lotion or something. Um, his skin is so sensitive, um, lotions, don't work, it just burns. And then what you do is you just put his clothes on over it. Um, once again, this helps keep the moisture in. If he's really broken out, you can take gauze or something and do wraps, which I'll show you in another video, how to do wraps. Mommy, you like that. You have like 100 years. It's so? Yeah. So then we put him in long sleeve shirts and long pants so that way he can't really access it. And yeah, I'll link the um, directions right after this. I'll put the link the National Eczema Association's directions and instructions um, right after this. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will be back with a new video. Um, I'm gonna hopefully do wet wrap soon. So yeah, catch you guys later.